Mm. Welcome back to CTV Morning Live. I know it doesn't feel like we have a bunch of snow coming Wednesday and Thursday, yep. but it's time to get prepared for spring, um, which means, yes, feel free to take off the Christmas and holiday lights. That's first. Yeah. Linda Pullis here from uh, Canadian Tire, the Carling location, uh, store manager there. Are you seeing people buy more and more stuff getting ready for spring? Definitely. People are being more and more prepared for the seasons, I okay. find. I mean, we know what's coming, right? And we've certainly had a taste of it here and there. It's been mm -hmm. a very unique winter. Yeah, it's been an easy um, one, really. Yeah. yeah, but lots of, you know, melt off and then refreeze and melt off. So people have dealt with some slush and mush issues already, so they kind of know what's coming for sure. Okay, you have some very good ideas, especially taking care of your eaves. Yeah. Uh, this is something I've slacked on, to be honest with you, and it's something that maybe a lot of people just let it, they're like, yeah, I'll get to it, right? Yeah. This is important. Yeah. Very important, and, and out of sight, out of mind, right? So mm -hmm. you don't see it in there, um, but definitely there's leaves in there. If you haven't cleaned them out, they're in there. Um, they compost, they rot. Yeah. Um, that rots your, your eaves, your gutters. You, you know, you definitely want to keep up on that. Okay. Um, lots of tools now to make it easier so you're not sticking your hands in the muck. You, see, you I did that like, in yeah. the fall, <laughs> yes. and it was disgusting. And yeah. then you tell me you have this, and I think to myself, yes. I could have saved yeah. so much. Yeah, and it, without going specifically to a product like this, you, it's hard to find the shape and size. I mean, right. that's designed for this the is nice. for Just the eve you're on the ladder and you're yeah. going ahead and getting it so if you've dealt with that that smell and muck it's you, you know, yeah. don't want it on and your hands because so there's much. a particular type of smell to it yes not yes. pleasant yes okay so uh, yeah. and this this is for the ones you missed which i definitely did cuz i did it by hand yeah. this is really helpful you'll have to wait till it thaws of course yes yeah. and then uh, what's the next step the downspout or actually taking care of the 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 gutters themselves well ideally you'd want to keep it get it cleaned out thoroughly and mm -hmm. then protect it so there's a whole variety of type of guards like that so mm -hmm. that you know, you don't have to do it again. Right. Uh, <laughs> and you get it out of there, you clean it up, and, and it's done. So I have these. I have them in plastic, probably not as strong as yeah. these that you sell at Canadian Tire. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had a real hard time. I just gave up. Mm -hmm. I'm a quitter. It's okay, Linda. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm okay with it now. So tell me how this actually goes into your eaves. Yeah, so the majority of what you're seeing are metal because the flexion will stay. So depending on how your plastic was stored, it may have lost its shape and okay, size. Okay, right. Um, but it'll strictly flex in and right. pop out and catch so under this... under the trim of the of And the you want shock. it to be uh, convex, not concave. Yes, absolutely. Right, obviously, because you don't want to catch more material. You want it to actually bow above the eaves and then have the water just move the full leaves off. Absolutely. This prepares yeah. you really yeah. well for fall of next year. Yes. And yes. through the year, too. Because leaves fall through the year. People might not know this, but if yeah. you own a pool, you know. Yeah. Uh, leaves fall throughout the year, yeah. but obviously in bulk in the fall. This is a great prep yes. method for next uh, next uh, fall, and then you don't yeah. have to worry about it. What is this? Well, most importantly, if you don't want to go this route, you want to keep your downspout clear. Yeah, um, because uh, then you get the spillover, and you start having it spill everywhere, and yeah. you walk out of your house, yeah. and you're like, what's going on? And it's very difficult to get at. Right. Leaves are open. You can get in there. So if you don't have the time or inclination to do this, just mm -hmm. a very simple pop it in. Um, it'll keep at least the larger debris out of there. Okay. If you get a clog, it'll be there, and it'll be you visible just, and accessible. And you can grab it exactly. out? Exactly. This yeah. is a route for me, maybe, yep. Linda? Maybe. Yep. <laughs> well, uh, else fails. And finally, these I see everywhere. These are yes. great. Now, they look yes. small, but they, yeah. of course, uh, pop out to yeah. a large... So this is actually an 8-foot, so mm -hmm. comes like this, but pops out a couple sizes. So, if, you know, depending on what suits for you and your property, right. uh, you can get 4 feet, 8 feet, 20, right up to 25 feet. There's every shape and size, mm -hmm. uh, but you definitely want water running away from your house. Get it away from the foundation, right? Because this is a definitely. major concern for yes. uh, damage yeah. to your foundation. Yes. And anybody who's ever had to do any, have someone come in and do work to the foundation, Ugh, it's yes. the last thing you want. Yeah, and especially in these interim seasons where we're having melt and freeze and melt and freeze. So if the water's getting in there, freezing, expanding, mm -hmm. much more damage can of be done. Of course, yeah, sure. yeah. It, and yeah. it's fun to play with. It and is. You, and you the best thing noises. is, as you're as you're positioning it, you can move it around objects yeah. and things like that. Yeah, as well, absolutely. Right? Because so. you also, if anybody's seen the. You know, when the water runs off too fiercely and creates that little trough, yes. it just doesn't look good exactly. either. So, you so you've got aesthetic. all I need as I get prepared for spring. I like yes. the fact that Canadian Tire brought a positive thought to us That's in right. terms of the next season. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> okay. We're going to talk to you some more, especially about this ladder to my left that uh, you could actually win. More details on that coming up on CTV Morning Live after this.